back. My first guest is pretty much the luckiest guy around. <laughs> he's a heartthrob for girls and for boys. He sings, he dances, and he's also an action hero. He can only be John Barrowman. <laughs> Now, uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you've just got married, haven't you? That's right. Uh, yeah, oh, civ <laughs> civil partnership. I, I call it civil partnership. Um, but uh, yeah, I did it in Wales at the. Oh, uh, good there boy. we are. Oh, Aww. bless. Oh, see the. No, I have to say this. See the little, the middle dog right there that's hidden behind? Yeah. I just had to put her to sleep. Why? Oh. That's horrible. That's the worst thing in the whole world. No, I've got no, four I, it, dogs. no it, was, it, was, it was terrible because Penny has been my, my dog with me since I started working here in the UK in 1989. She's about, she was 17 and a half years old. Oh. So she lived a good life. Yeah. But I came home one night and she just wasn't looking too great. Took her to the vet and, you know, so that. But thanks for showing that picture because oh, that's really, really that's a sweet right. one. I really like that. Yeah, so there's, there's me and the dogs and then Scott. So. Oh, they're beautiful dogs. But we did that in Cardiff. No, never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice work. So, St. David's. I mean, you've been together for 15 years. Yeah. So has, has getting married really made a difference? Uh, Scott, my partner, said now we can get fat. Yes. <laughs> and not worry about it now that we've settled down. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually doesn't make a difference because for us, the whole kind of, you know, our, our acceptance of, the, the, of being together and our kind of commitment to each other was uh, about 14, no, sorry, 10 years ago when we signed the mortgage papers together. Yes, of course. And that was it. So, but this was just to kind of let other people see that we're serious about it, that more gay men and women, you know, who want to do it, are yep. serious about it, should do it. And most we should, definitely. We should have the rights. Yeah, most yeah. definitely, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Anyway, that's the political <laughs> out of the way. Hey. Let's have some yeah. fun. No. It was your 40th birthday a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, oh, that's... So how was that? That was really good. I was, uh, I was actually finishing up the third series of Doctor Who, and, um, uh, which I'm in the last couple of episodes, and uh, they had a... I've celebrated the last two birthdays on Doctor Who, and at the stroke of midnight, out came a Dalek cake. Oh, that's so cool. And, uh, you know, David and uh, Freema and the rest of the, you know, the crew and stuff sang happy birthday to me, and we sat and ate cake for about 20 minutes and had some champagne, and then we... Finish filming at about four o'clock. So if we look a little pissed at one of the, one of the episodes <laughs> towards the end, you now know why. Brilliant. You now know why. Well, you are best known for your role as Jack in Doctor Who, but are you also in the spin-off series Torchwood? So yeah. can you tell us all about that? Torchwood is, it's based in Cardiff, and yeah, there I am in front of the Millennium uh, uh, Building, and um, the, and that's right down by the bay. But yeah. it's about a group of people who fight alien activity and, and take alien technology and uh, there's a time and uh, rift between in space and time running directly through Cardiff and that's why we're basically yeah, right. don't laugh. Yeah, I was going to say, how come an intergalactic protection agency is run from Cardiff? You know, because there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot, I asked the question myself. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of <laughs> aliens in Cardiff, let me tell you. I good know. ones, I good know. ones. And bad ones. Yeah, and bad ones, but no, it's, a good, it's good fun and, and Cardiff is great, it's, uh, it's kind of, Revitalize Cardiff in a way yeah. because we're we're all big you know promoters of the area and stuff like that. Now, I've heard you're a bit of a self-confessed gadget freak. I, I am. So is there anything you really want to get your hands on? Well, there's uh, there's one of the, the the gadgets that Jack uses. It's a wristband and it um, it does some secret stuff that I can't really say now because it's going to be on Doctor Who and I've, I'd be giving it away. But I'd like to take that because it can it can look into people. It can do holographic images. It can see through things. I could see what underpants you're wearing, all that kind of stuff. I don't I want to at the moment, love. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple of months ago. <laughs> but, um, and then also, there's a, we've got a great, there's a lot of equipment, there's a medical room that we have in Torchwood, and I think I'd like to uh, take some of the, this is going to sound really bad. I'm, yeah. I'm medical equipment home with me. <laughs> some things you can do with prongs and... Okay, we'll yeah. just, yeah, I'm going to move this swiftly. But obviously you know that. Yeah, no, not Been yet. Been there, done that. No. <laughs> I got all that to come. Sounds great. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Stay in there for ages. As you long need help. As you I'll, vi can. I'll video. Oh. Stop! <laughs> now, uh, with Torchwood filmed yeah. in Cardiff, how much time do you actually spend there? I spend probably about uh, eight months to nine months out of the year in Cardiff at the moment because uh, uh, we have a place there. And um, so I, it, Cardiff is kind of like my secondary home. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's a lot of work. We, you know, film. If, um, people see us out in the streets at night and they, 
to see this guy walking down the street with this huge long coat and it's pissing with rain. Yeah. And you know, people write, it's just a weird thing to see in the city of Cardiff, but you know, nine months out of the year, eight, nine months. So how would you like my fair city of Cardiff? Because it is mine. <laughs> no, it's not. Do you want the truth? Yeah. I absolutely love it. Do you? Yeah, I do, I do. I think Car the one thing that surprised me the most about people in Cardiff, and, and this is, um, uh, you know, London, you expect people to kind of be open and, and accepting and, you know, or walk past you and thump you and not apologize. In Cardiff, the one thing that was great for Scott and I when we had our civil partnership, we, uh, uh, I went to do a pantomime because I did it at the new theater in Cardiff. And uh, people showed up, you know, mothers and, 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 you know, husbands and wives in their 50s and 60s giving us presents and, and gifts and saying, you know, how great it was. And young, young girls with, uh, with their kids and single dads and stuff all coming up. And we were really, really chuffed yeah. by that. Because, you know, you don't expect that there. Yeah. You don't expect it. So yeah. it's a, a great city. Yeah, I love it. It is fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing it. that worries me is when I get, um, and this is, I've got some of my fans in tonight. So please don't take offense at this, but don't send me any more stuffed animals. Why? I get a lot of stuffed animals sent to me. And I, I call, I, the, well, the, the people who send them to me, I call them bunny rubbers. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Because ah! I received one bunny that was a little messy. Oh! The bunny was hanging, man. Can, ah. And so, the, and you can all, I don't need to elaborate anymore. Go but, on, no, please do. No, I think the, the bunny, you know, the girl the, or ah. guy goes to bed at night with the bunny, gives it a little bit of the old bunny ah. rub. <laughs> and then they sent it to me. And I'm like that. Oh, and the only reason I knew it was something really rank is because I put it on the table and my dogs were like that. <laughs> ah. That's disgusting. So please, no more stuffed animals. <laughs> Fair do, fair do. <laughs> now, what's the scariest monster you've come across whilst filming the show? I don't know if you're going to like this very much, but the scariest monster I've come across while filming the show are girls, blonde girls in boob tubes with short skirts and high heels, or we call them me <laughs> pumps. Yeah. And they're fighting <laughs> seagulls off in Cardiff, yep. where they've got pokes of chip and great chips and gravy in their hand. Yeah. But I will say those those girls are not Cardiffian girls. No, they're not. Those are girls from the valleys. Yeah. I was actually going to say there's a Captain Jack action figure. So just to even things out, I thought I get an evil nemesis made up. Uh oh. So meet Rhonda. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who is a bit like what you described. I'd say she's a bather girl. Rhonda. Yeah, but she's a bather girl, personally, I think. All right. Uh, she's got a knickers round her ankles by ear. Can you see that? She's got a handbag, she's got a bag of chips, she's and got a, a seagull. seagull, and she also has... Uh... What? Oh, she's bushy! <laughs> she's bushy. She's got a bearded, a, a bearded clam. Ah, that's the worst thing I've ever heard! <laughs> <laughs> but that's Rhonda anyway, so Jack, Captain Jack can play with Captain Rhonda. Captain Jack can play with Rhonda. I think he'll be staying well away from <laughs> Rhonda's, know. you know, bunny rubber. I think most, I think most men do. Yeah. In, uh... the, the, I can't believe, though, how girls like that go out. Yeah. And there's, I mean, I've never I know, seen... I, I know exactly pink. what they look like. Like, like, uh, like a pink boob tube, mm -hmm. like a tiny little denim skirt, yep. like knee-high black boots, yep. like hair in like a Croydon facelift ponytail. Yep. <laughs> Bare earrings. Blue eyeshadow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, like, we know the same people. Like, then. Uh, and they just be like um, on the street. Oh, I don't Get know. the f away from my chips. I know. <laughs> I'm starving you, mother. I paid for these chips. You can pay me if you want some of these chips, man. Ridian, get your hand out. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm totally oh, serious. Honestly, they're great. But we love Cardiff. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, worth, it's worth just going there just to experience that. We love that. Cardiff for that. You've got to go, go uh, to Flares or possibly Reflex to go to that. Do you realise the hate mail we're going to get now? Oh, it's fine, don't we? I'll, say, I'll forward it to your house. You know, yeah, no, I'll just get beat up every time I go out to Cardiff Town. What do you say about us? <laughs> um, like those girls from Ponty and Mayer there, do you? <laughs> Be great, don't worry. I love you all, really. You know that. <laughs> <laughs>